Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to talk about the top UI UX design tools that you have to focus on in 2025 in order to stay competitive and on the cutting edge of this industry. Now, let's get started with the basic. Of course, this one had to make this list and it's Figma. I actually received a question the other day from a subscriber asking if Figma is still going to be relevant in the next year or if uh, he should focus on uh, other tools like Sketch. Uh, and uh, the short answer is uh, absolutely just stick with Figma. It's uh, the industry leader at the moment. Uh, I do not uh, think uh, that uh, Sketch is going to catch up uh, at least anytime soon. Uh, Figma definitely has a great advantage. I use Figma each and every day and uh, all the UI UX designers they know do utilize Figma. So definitely focus on Figma, not only learn it, but master it. As the expectations these days are quite high, especially when it comes to design systems and all of the intricacies. So if you actually wanted to learn Figma from A to Z, I recently launched a course which is going to teach you to do just that. I'm going to leave a link in the description, but now let's move on to the very next one, which is ChatGPT. Now there's so many AI tools nowadays and uh, it's uh, really hard to keep up with them but uh, I strongly believe that uh, the basics are always going to be the most important elements to master and in this case when it comes to AI ChatGPT is actually and OpenAI specifically is the framework that all of the other AI tools utilize so most of the times these other AI tools are simply uh, glamorized prompts and uh, essentially uh, following uh, exactly the same uh, OpenAI infrastructure. So they're simply leveraging ChatGPT. So actually just go to the root source and uh, master it and uh, really stay on the cutting edge because each and every month there's new things uh, and capabilities coming up. And I believe this is a very interesting moment because uh, you can not only add images uh, and uh, videos and have uh, documents uh, come out from ChatGPT, but it can also uh, browse the web. So really the limitations uh, are up to your creativity these days. And uh, I actually shot uh, several videos on ChatGPT, but I'm actually looking to create more because uh, I think some of the workflows that I'm utilizing now uh, I definitely haven't covered in the previous videos. So I'm going to keep you up to date on that, specifically when it comes to UX design. Now, the next one is a tool which I use each and every day, both at work and to organize my personal life and its notion. And I believe it's the best. I wouldn't just limit it as a project management software because I think it's way more than that. It's uh, almost like a, it's, it's the perfect place to create uh, notes, brainstorm uh, and uh, organize uh, anything which uh, requires complexity, being a design project, but also your personal life like I am doing. So definitely Notion is another tool which uh, you have to keep in mind. Probably not uh, going to be the number one uh, list uh, as a UX designer, but I think it just uh, makes for a strong argument to have it uh, inside of this uh, tool set. And then uh, another one which uh, is uh, absolutely mind-blowing recent, in uh, recent months uh, is Framer. I believe this is, I wouldn't say the best website builder out there <clears throat> because it does have some limitations, but uh, it's uh, definitely for us designers uh, the best uh, solution that uh, allows us not to have to deal with code uh, to this date. And uh, I just strongly believe that Framer is going to come up with uh, a lot uh, of uh, really new interesting uh, um, additions in uh, 2025. They have been uh, working really, really hard and uh, I'm just excited about the software overall. I'm actually in the process of uh, switching uh, from Webflow to Framer uh, when it comes to Geo designs. So the new redesign is actually coming up. So stay tuned on that as well. And uh, overall, I just think it's uh, 
really easy to create uh, websites in Framer without having to deal with uh, the code side of things. Also the websites, as they say over here, it's they're really, really fast. So this is a massive uh, boost uh, for usability and also SEO. And uh, yeah, generally speaking, I really am a fan of Framer. Uh, but that being said, Webflow is definitely another one which you have to keep in mind. And uh, at the moment, I'm sorry to say it, but uh, it does have a more comprehensive package than Framer in terms of capabilities. Now, the question is, uh, for that specific web site project, do you need all of the capabilities and all of the features that, Fra that Webflow has to offer? The question is going to be up to you. In uh, my case, for example, for Geo Designs, I didn't need uh, all of the capabilities of Webflow. Hence, uh, I was okay with uh, utilizing Framer. But uh, Webflow, I believe it's uh, just, again, one very, very strong uh, website builder. Uh, if I have to work, uh, for example, on a website for corporate or a large company, I would definitely lean towards Webflow these days. And uh, it's just a, a site builder that at least from a basic uh, angle, you should understand. Now, I also have courses on both Framer and Webflow if you want to learn these uh, softwares. But uh, again, it's really going to depend if you want to lean more towards web design or UX uh, side of things. And also, last but not least, and uh, I'm including this tool for one reason and one reason only, uh, the learning curve is uh, very fast in terms of uh, like how fast you, you need to invest or how little time you need to invest in order to really understand this software. And also how flexible it's going to be in some specific use case scenarios. And that is Canva. So why am I adding Canva to this list? It's because most of the designers are using Figma and it's such a more minute and uh, you can create much better designs with, uh, with Figma in terms of uh, the level of accuracy. I'm still adding Canva because uh, when you're dealing, for example, with marketing teams that need, to, that need assets such as templates to utilize in their social posts, uh, or if uh, you need to create uh, a slide presentation, I think Canva is uh, a really good uh, tool to utilize. I use it uh, these days for slides presentation specifically. And uh, I also worked with marketing teams in the past uh, that uh, just asked me, hey, can, can you create uh, maybe a template in Figma and then uh, basically adjust it in our Canva templates so that uh, we don't have to basically ping you or text you each and every time we need to change a color or a text uh, and uh, just makes it so much easier and uh, I think it's an efficient tool for some specific use scenarios. Uh, I wouldn't really use it very very often but definitely it's going to be a tool that uh, you should uh, consider and have in your toolbox. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about UI UX design, I am reaching almost uh, the point of having 1000 videos on my channel entirely for free. So feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the next one.